is Optimus Prime. So at first we have the packaging. They call him Star Leader, I guess. Toys full of fun, night, age of six and up. Okay looking artwork. Star Leader on the top. Star Leader on the right. And then underneath we have five ones, two A's, two B's, two C's, and two D's, which is very interesting. On the back it says made in China. Yeah, that makes sense. And here's the instruction booklet, and that's not the right Optimus. Here we go. It's very interesting that there's a lot more Fire Flames pictured here than there is on the final product. And I'm going to start in vehicle mode this time. You might be able to tell that I've already switched out the wheels here. I'm going to pull up a picture of what they used to look like. Since this is not legally Hasbro's figure, there's no Autobot insignia here. We'll see another one of that in robot mode. Straight into comparisons, we have the 15th anniversary Optimus Prime. 15th Anniversary Jazz, 15th Bumblebee, 15th Ironhide, 15th Ratchet, and for fun, TLK SS Cogman, Commander Legacy Motormaster, and finally, Age of Extinction Galvatron. See how these stack up together. And now for the transformation, which I really kind of dread. So usually I just start by pulling these apart, and then I bend the knees here for some clearance to pull the back out. Then bring the wheels, put them on the hips, and bring this down. Rotate and repeat. And then separate the legs, and then bring the feet out. Same for the other side as well. And then what I try to do is take these ca gas canisters on the side and separate them all right well i have to take a cut there i had to do it myself off camera and it's already stress marks I'm not really happy about that so hopefully with that not being a problem just bring that back do the same for the other side then bring out these back parts separate the front of the grill and we can start dealing with the hood then we can start bringing out the head right here and then I would take these two fire flame panels and they should just snap together like so and bring over the gas canisters as well. Then we should be able to rotate at the waist. Now we can start configurating these arms by bringing these grill parts to the back. Separate them like so and bring it up until it tabs into the neck and tab them into those sides that were brought up earlier. Give a waist a click, take each arm to the front. That's another problem I have right here, just untabbed. And then you should be able to bring out the hands on both sides. And then final touches, just configure the backpack to however you would like. So I'm going to do it like this. So after a long excruciating transformation, here he is in robot mode. I'm not going to go over articulation. If you have any sort of the mold, you'll know what you're getting into. But let's talk about where I really got this for. The alternate faces. So one with a face mask. It's pretty okay. I, I was told it looked lopsided though. And then definitely the ugly duckling of the faces. This one definitely does not look as good as the one that's currently on the head. Also, he comes with battle blades. Now for the integration of the faces, just rip it off his face like Optimus with the bone crusher. And you're left with something like this. So here we have the other face of Optimus. The one with the mouth. All I have to do is just align it up and just slides right in. Just like this. And then here he is with the face mask. Definitely like how this one looks. Very nice and accurate. Well painted as well. Also, I would like to talk about the fire decals that were added on here. So over here on both shoulders. And then some were added on the doors. And then some 
on the lower shins. And as you can see, the figure is very solid. If anything, it's just the connection with the arms and the knees. But both ankles are fairly nice. Also, I wanted to bring up that this figure is just made with screws. So over here on the knee and where the ankle's at, screws on both arms right here, inside the arms, six screws over on the chest, and plenty of screws on the backside. Now for Robert comparison, I have DLK Hot Rod and Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. See how these guys look together. Here is my brother's official Studio Series 05 Optimus Prime. And then 15th Anniversary Optimus Prime and Earth Spark Deluxe Bumblebee. Now, do I recommend him? Well, I mean, yeah, that's why I got him. I thought he looked pretty cool. So that's why I got him, you know? Be okay with clear plastic transformation hinges here. They're kind of floppy. Other than that, yeah, I recommend him. He's pretty awesome. They just connect here. The main selling point for me was the alternate faces. I've always wanted to have swappable mouth plate and mouth Optimus Prime faces. I find that absolutely epic. So yeah, I'd definitely rate him about like a 7 to 9 out of 10. Maybe not 9, so probably 7 or 8. Anyways, I appreciate you all for watching. If you want to get this figure, he's on Amazon. And that will be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.